Hey everyone, how are you? In this lecture, I will show you how to host your ASP.NET application on Amazon Web Services with IS Web Server. So stay tuned and let's start together. Okay friends, so here I am in Amazon Web Services and the first thing you need to do is to create an account and log in. I will not waste your time by creating an account, it's very easy and simple. Just create one and go and sign in to the console. So here we are in the Amazon Web Services Management Console. What we are going to do is to create a new Windows Server instance machine and access it, then install IS and host our website. So let's see what we are going to do. Just go to services here and go to compute section and click on EC2, Elastic Compute 2. This will allow you to create virtual machines and access them through RDP. So let's go and click on launch instance here to create a new Windows Server machine. You can select here, you can see here we can select between instances. I will go with Windows Server 2019 machine and click on select here. Now you need to select your instance resources like what CPUs you want, what memory you want. You can see we have a free tier eligible, which is free in Amazon Web Services to use for the first one year, I think. I will select other one, I will go with the medium with 4 gigabytes and 2 CPUs. You can select the free if you want, but I'm going with, now, with this now, so I can get better performance. Let's select this and click next here. And here you can select some options, I will keep everything as it is, you, didn't, you don't need to change anything. Add storage, here we have a 30 gigabytes, also it's free with the free tire eligible in Amazon. I will keep the defaults now. Also, I don't want to add anything. Go next and then security groups. And you'll see now we can configure the, our firewall options. Here it shows us that only RDP is allowed. Since we are going to host an ASP.NET website and we are going to secure it with SSL, so we need port 80 and port 443 for that. So click add rule and let's select HTTP port and click add also again and select HTTPS and that's it. So port 80 and port 443 now are allowed. Click review and launch and then click on launch and it will ask you to create a private keeper to access your machine securely. So just go and create a new keeper. I will name it when 2019 key whatever you want and click download keeper you can see it's very easy and simple now click on launch instance after the download finishes launch instances and it as you can see it says your instances now are launching let's go to view instances to see our list here wow here is our windows machine and it's now pending we need to wait a couple of minutes then it will be ready to be accessed so I will pause the video and come back to you in a minute. Okay, as you can see, it says now running and everything is awesome. So let's click on connect now and it will tell you you need to get the password for this machine. So click get password and then you need to upload the per key when you create the instance. So let's choose the file and go to downloads. And here is the key that I created and click the crypt password and awesome. Here is my password. I will copy it now and let's download the remote desktop file so we can connect to our machine remotely. Okay, you can see we downloaded the MSTSC file or the remote desktop file. Let's open it. Let's minimize this now and click connect. It will ask you for the password, just paste it and click OK. Very nice. This is the SSL, it's OK. Click Yes now. And wait for the connection to be established. Everything is simple. We can see now we are logging in to our server. Just wait a little bit for the first time. 
and this is my server the first thing we need to do is to install IIS if you don't know what is IIS simply it's a service on Windows that allows you to host websites it's the web server on Windows systems so let's go around the start menu and click on server manager so we can add the web server role okay now click on manage add roles and features and let's go and click on next and click role based feature and click on next it's very simple here you select the server it's my local server and now let's go down and check web server IIS click add features automatically will be added and click on next then next next and here you need to install some role services let's go down and open the application development section and be sure to install ASP.NET 4.7 if you have the application above 4 and that's it if you want the FTP you can install it also let's install it anyway and that's it that's what we need now click on next and click install very simple operation and if you are interested in learning more about IIS I have a full course on Udemy called web server IIS mastery course you can check the link in the description below and get it now for only 9.99 I think also I have a free course here on my YouTube channel where you can learn all the basics about IIS please check the link also in the description now just wait for the installation to finish okay friends so the installation succeeded now click close and now IIS is installed let's go click on tools and go to internet information services IS manager open it and here is the main console that we are going to work with you can see here if we open our server let's go down we will have a default website it's built in by default inside IS let's try to access this website I will browse it here click on browse and you can see it's working this is the local host let's now try to access this website remotely using the machine IP address so what is my IP address let's go back minimize this RDS session open Amazon and this is the IP address public IP I will copy it and let's try to access it from my browser from my client machine open it and awesome you can see this my IS server is working very nice now we need to point our domain our custom domain to this machine so you need to have a domain name in my case I'll be working with GoDaddy if you have a domain another provider it's the same operation you need just to point your domain to the machine IP address so just follow up the steps it's the same concept I will go to my domains if you need any help please contact me and I will be with you I will log in and let's select a, do a domain from my list let's say this one here let's say this one h-y.me go and manage my DNS is just a sample domain and as you can see we are in the DNS management page just search for the main a record here and edit the IP address and paste the machine IP address here from Amazon click on save and that's it now our domain our custom domain is pointing to our machine very nice now we need to wait maybe 10 minutes 20 minutes maybe 24 hours for the DNS migration to finish okay so let's copy my domain name now and open a new tab and paste it here and let's see what will happen awesome you can see we are loading our website using my domain name very nice everything till now is awesome now we need to upload our custom website asp.net website to our server so we can up publish it and host it I will go to uh, my files here I have a sample website I created before I will copy it simply and open my RDS session here again and right click let's open the C drive here and paste it inside my machine 
you can just copy and paste and the file will automatically be uploaded it's very simple now just wait for the copying to finish and I will come back to you in a little bit okay you can see this is my folder here my website folder I will extract it extract all extract okay very nice so here is my website folder let's open it and I will get my file here here it is let's copy this and go to my C drive then go to inetpub here is my IS directory then go to www root and here is the default website you can delete this or you can just paste it beside it and then let's go to iis again and now let's create a new website i will go right click add website and let's name it anything you can name it with a website name if you want it's facebook downloader let's see it facebook download and the domain is what is my domain it's h-y.me okay paste it here now i'll be using http later on we will add https or sl now we will need to select the physical path of my website let's open and browser it it's in the c drive inetpub www root this is my folder directory here is my website directory click ok and click ok very simple i think here is my website now let's delete the default website i don't need any more just remove it and now we have our website very simple let's now try to test this website so i will minimize my session and let's open h-y.me again open it and awesome you can see this is my website this is my awesome sample website and by the way, this is a Facebook video downloader. You just paste the video URL and click download and download any video from Facebook. If you are interested in getting this source code and learning how to build such application, please check the video in my description. It's here on my YouTube channel. Okay, so here we are. We hosted our website. Now, the last step I want to do is how to add free SSL from Let's Encrypt Authority to my website. So I can access it through HTTPS protocol okay so let's go back to my server and what i'm going to do is open my internet browser and go to a website called certifytheweb.com this website allows you to download a small tool that will request a certificate from let's encrypt authority automatically so it will make things very simple click download to download this application and let's wait it's finished okay let's open it I will install it it's very simple click next next and next install here we are very simple let's run the application and see what we have here let's minimize this now okay it will tell you let's start by registering a new contact just enter your email address okay and click yes i agree and click register content very simple now what you can do simply is go and click new certificate here and let's name it iis free ssl whatever you want and let's choose a domain here is my facebook download website that i created an is automatically it will show you the domain name here and it's primary very simple click now request certificate and awesome you can see it's very easy everything is automated and now we have a certificate close this tool and open iis again close it or and open it again so we can refresh our management console to see my new certificate now if we go towards my server here and go to server certificates where's my certificates here it is open it you can see this is my certificate from certify very nice it's from let's encrypt and it's free totally free so how to apply this certificate to my website very simple 
go to my site, right click on my website and then click manage website or click edit bindings it's a shortcut and now we can see also that the binding is automatically done by certify we can see this is the binding for my website so everything is done automatically wow let's now minimize and try to access our website through https let's see what will happen now http s and launch it and awesome now my website is secured with ssl you can see this lock here certificate is valid and awesome everything is nice so that's it this is how we can host your website your asp.net website on amazon web services with iis that's it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like the video so i can always submit new videos thank you and see you later thank you for following if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to like the video, and to press on the bell for notifications. You can also view our other lectures. Thank you and see you in other videos.